One of America's most prized fish is at the center of a fight between conservationists and the federal government. The Trump administration extended the red snapper season for recreational fishing in the Gulf of Mexico last month. Environmental groups filed a lawsuit claiming that extension jeopardizes efforts to rebuild the, snap, the red snapper population. Omar Villafranca is in Dulac, Louisiana with more on the story. Omar, good morning. Good morning. Fishermen from Texas to Florida want to see this fish on the end of their line. This is a red snapper and so far off the Louisiana coast, fishermen have caught more than 327 tons of the fish and that number is expected to go up. Dale Beebe is a commercial fisherman who just returned to the Louisiana shore with almost 6,000 pounds of one of the most sought after fish in the Gulf of Mexico, red snapper. It has been great. We've had the best snapper fishing in the last two or three or four years that we've had in 25 years. The snapper is prized in restaurants as flaky and full of flavor. It's fantastic. And on fishing boats, it's renowned for its fight. Hold on. This year, the Department of Commerce extended the red snapper season for recreational fishing in federal waters from just three days to 42. The department said the three day season was hurting businesses that depend on sport fishing. But commercial fishermen worry longer seasons could threaten the red snapper population. Overfishing caused the Gulf's red snapper population to plummet in the mid 1980s. It's a huge driver for tourism here. Our David Croissant of the Coastal Conservation Association of Louisiana says the red snapper population has largely recovered and a three day fishing season is too short for recreational anglers. Two of those days here in Louisiana were unfishable. The weather was too rough. This year, the government set a quota of just over 13 million pounds of red snapper to be pulled from the Gulf. 51% for commercial fishermen, 49% for recreational. But in 2016, recreational anglers exceeded that limit by 65 tons. If you're not going to adhere to the law, why have regulations? David Krebs owns Aerial Seafoods, a large seafood supply chain. We can all just go back to the wild, wild west, so, uh, and it is going to damage the resource. Right now we're in a federal season. J.P. Brooker is an attorney for the Ocean Conservancy, a group suing the federal government to limit the extended fishing season. It's fundamentally unfair. It's unfair to commercial fishermen. It's unfair to the long-term viability of the recreational fishery as well. But others argue the regulations have to be fair, including to those who fish for fun. We all want to protect the resource, but there's got to be a balance between protecting the resource, watching it grow, and still allowing it to be available to the American public. What's happening here on the Louisiana Gulf Coast and all the Gulf Coast states is part of a series of changes in the Trump administration that's being challenged by environmental groups. Over in Yellowstone National Park, the grizzly bear is actually about to be removed from the endangered species list. And if the government doesn't abandon their plans to remove the bear from the list, environmental groups say they will sue. Nora. Omar, thank you there. I'm holding a fish. Beautiful fish, that snapper, oh, isn't it? I love red snapper. Yeah, I do too. Well, we'll learn a lot after this season, I think, about the effects.